And the water inside our cells, but the most important one is the water inside our blood is even more important. And that is where it becomes a light story. Uh, you said the right kind of water. So there's all kinds of water, bottled water, filtered water. What should our listeners, what choices should we make with water? Because we are predominantly water and that is key. You said DHA, seafood, oysters. I'm a big fan of oysters. The, the, the big, the big thing with water is I tell people there's a, a website, I can't remember what it is, called Find a Spring. You can Google it. Uh, first thing you need to do based on where you live, make sure that the water table is okay. Like if you live in a place like Flint, Michigan, uh, go buy your water from somewhere else. Um, I happen to be fortunate down here, as Anna knows, the Southeast, uh, the two major advantages, let's just talk about latitude a little bit more. Why the Southeast the United States is so incredibly powerful. A, we have great water. We have great light. So that knocks that out. The other thing that people don't know is that 600 miles from where I am right now, there's a big hole in the ground where an asteroid hit 65 million years ago. And believe it or not, that's where we all came from. That's where eukaryotes, that's where dinosaurs got taken out and the age of mammals began. Well, it turns out that the Gulf of Mexico has so much seafood in it, which makes it unusual, because many people don't know this. The, de the, the equator, all the water around the equator is an equatorial dead zone for sea life. Most sea life lives at the poles. But the Gulf of Mexico is a, um, an exception to the rule. And the reason why is because of that hole in the ground. It connects the magma chamber closer to the water so there's more magnetic flux. So that's the reason why when you go fishing off one of the oil rigs here, you can get tremendous seafood. If you've not been to Pensacola, Destin, New Orleans, Gulfport, seafood's everywhere. I mean, you can't get away from seafood, you know, from Key West all the way around. But people don't know why. That's one of the reasons why. The water here, we get tons of rain. Uh, the water here is great. But you'll notice that Jack Cruz is drinking, I don't know if you can see it, it's called Starkey, I'll read it yeah. to you, Starkey Spring Water from Idaho, uh, two miles deep, it's a geothermal single source from Mother Nature. Notice the pH on the back, what does it say? 9.4. Yeah. So this, this came from another place. Why do I do that in New Orleans? Because the water here is fluoridated. You never want to drink any water that's fluoridated. Why? Very simple. You don't have to know the physics. It's based on something called the dielectric point. Anytime there's fluoride or bromide in the water, it reduces the amount of light that can be absorbed by water. Okay? That's all you have to know. So I would tell you, Pellegrino is okay. Uh, the Perrier is okay. Spring water that's bottled, try to always buy it in bottles, not in plastic. Try to keep the water out of uh, uh, the sunlight if it's in plastic because you're going to leach chemicals from the plastic in there. I think most people know that now. But I'm okay with reverse osmosis water because the water going in is not tremendously important. Uh, how your body structures the water inside you, and see, that's the story where Pollock comes in. Uh, and I would just tell people, if you really want to understand water, you need to go buy Jerry Pollock's book. It's called The Fourth Phase of Water. It's a third grader can understand it. I promise everybody who reads it, you'll sit there and go, how did we not know this about water? And the book is phenomenal. I mean, my wife read it and she was just like, you got to be kidding me. Everybody thinks bulk tap water is the same as water everywhere else. It's not true. Um, and the water inside our cells, but the most important one is the water inside our blood is even more important. And that is where it becomes a light story. And it turns out that me and Anna were taught something even today that is still 100% believed, but 100% flawed, is that ATP from our mitochondria drive biochemistry. I learned 12 years ago that wasn't true because a guy named Gilbert Ling did an experiment in the 1950s that showed that there is a five-fold deficit of the amount of ATP in a cell to explain what a cell can do. What does that mean? It means that the ma it's kind of like saying you have a million dollars in bills and you only have $500,000 in the bank. You're broke, okay? And when you hear that, you start to go, well, where does the energy come from? And for literally probably two or three years, I struggled to figure it out. Then I came upon some Russian data 
about this light water connection. This is before Pollock's book was ever written. This is back in 2005. And then I started to realize what the issue was. It turns out that water and sunlight are the main battery. That's actually what drives our biochemistry. So if you think about some of the things Anna and I talked about in the beginning of this podcast, then you start to realize why being like the Sphinx is kind of important, okay? Um, I would tell you, most people, if you live in a city, don't drink any fluoridated water. Go and spend extra money. This Instead of spending money on statins, this is what you should spend your money on. Um, you, most people in the States are lucky. We can get bottled water from just about any source. Try to stay away from plastic. Like I, I try to avoid Dasani. I try to avoid any of the Coca-Cola crap. You know, any Nestle, if Nestle owns it, I stay away from that. I spend good money on water. Down here in New Orleans, we have guys that deliver, you know, the big five-gallon things that you always see in doctor's office. I have one in my house. I have one in my office for my girls that work for me. Um, I drink green Mountain Valley water. That's a big one here in New Orleans. It also mm -hmm. comes in bottles. Uh, this darky stuff I got from Whole Foods because, believe it or not, when I go to Whole Foods, all the guys in there are like, Doc, you need to try this water and tell us what you think because I usually biohack the water. There's things that I do to figure it out. Uh, one of my good buddies, Ruben Salinas, who's a co-inventor with me of a device, he has this camera that I was telling Anna about called the GDV camera. And a GDV camera, actually, we can use this to biohack the water in us. After we drink it, we can actually see what the energy flows are in our body. And then we can make determinations whether this was good, bad, or indifferent. And then we can decide, is this a product that we're going to use or not? Um, but I would tell most people that spring water from a spring in your area, as long as it's good, is fine. The way to do that is take a little, you know, sample, like a urine specimen come from your doctor's office. Take it to the local water board. It'll cost you 25 bucks. They'll test the water for you. You're good. Every place in the States around has these springs. There's actually a website that you can Google to find it. If you are, if you really want to see one of my, I, I don't like calling him a crazy friend. He's an amazing guy. His name is Luke Story. He is one of the most famous stylists in all of Los Angeles. If you go to his website, you will see the things that he does to harvest water from the LA basin. He goes on the top of a mountain, found a spring that's almost a two hour drive, bought a pickup truck and he fills this whole big truck up with this water and he drives it back to Los Angeles. It's the only thing he drinks and bathes with. Yeah. And he is all in. Um, now you don't have to be that um, tight. Luke does it because he lives in a toxic EMF zone. So that's the reason why he goes above and beyond uh, because he can't physically change his city because of what he does. Uh, that's where he has to be. So if you know that you live in a really bad area, that means that you have to do extraordinary things. So that's when you have to get all the things right. Um, but water for most people, especially in the Southeast, is not an issue. It's a real problem in the Southwest of the United States which happens to be one of the only other places in the United States where sunlight is good. The problem with the Southwest is that the sun's good, but the water stinks and there's natural fluoride in the water, like in the California basin in Arizona and New Mexico. So you have to be careful about the water out there. Well, night sweats, hot flashes, tossing, turning, covers on, covers off is one, are one of the first signs that a woman who is approaching menopause experiences. Soon after, you may experience brain fog, fatigue, crashing fatigue, weight gain despite not doing anything different, as well as a decrease in libido. Well, that's when you want to definitely get on Mighty Maca Plus. Through over 10 years of clinical experience and hundreds of physicians that recommend this combination of superfoods that taste great, but they do the job. It is without a doubt the number one supplement you should be taking and trying. 100% risk-free, I want you to try it. So um, go to dranna.com and use the code SHOW10 to get 10% off your first order. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here and get those notifications and comment below. Let me know your thoughts, what you loved and what your action step is. <music>